I have a word. So the Lord wants me to bring this word. Heaven is a place that's made for people to love God. You're probably saying, wow, I know that. No. Heaven is a place that's made for people that love God. It's a place for people that love God. Let me say this. That it's not just a place for people who don't want to go to hell. That's not what that's not what heaven is for. It's not just a place for people that don't want to go to hell. They don't want to burn. They don't want to go to hell. So they are like, well, I want to go to heaven, but I don't love God. You say, wait a minute. I love God. This is what God gave me. If you love him, you will do as he says. If you love God, you will do what he says. You will do what God says do. You would do the things that God tells you to do. People do good things so that they can go to heaven. They're doing all these things just like people do good things so that they can get money from God. They can get rewarded from God. They want the rewards, but they don't want God. So that means they don't love God. I'm not here to judge you. That's not what I'm here for. I'm just the messenger with the message. Heaven is a place that is made for people that love God. God loves you unconditionally. He loves you more than you would ever know. God loves you unconditionally. He sent his only begotten son on the cross to die for your sins. God does, God does not throw us. He does not force us into heaven, but he don't throw us in hell. We throw ourselves in hell. Because we have the thing called free will. We have our own free will of where we want to be, where we want to spend eternal. But heaven is made for a place for people that love God. Um, there are some people that try to live for God. But they're living for God, but they don't want to hear from God. The Holy Spirit is a person is Jesus Christ. And when the when the Holy Spirit tells us to do something, it instructs us, it tells us to do things, to live a certain way. God is changing us. But if we don't want to get on board with the plan, we we want we don't want to go to hell, but we don't want to do what God says do. We want to go to heaven, but we don't want to do what God says do. So we want to go to heaven so that we don't burn. But that's far from the truth. God says in his word, in his word it says, do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatever a man sows, he will also reap. For he who sows to the flesh will of the flesh reap corruption, but he who sows to the spirit will of the spirit reap everlasting life. Now, God knows if you want him. God knows. He knows if, if you want him. If you want to live, live your own way, but you say, I, 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 I gave my life to the Lord. I'm living for God. But I really, truly don't want to do what God says do. Or, I'm in trouble. I need God to help me. But I really don't want to live for God. So then you just want God to get you out of the trouble. And he will. Because he's a loving God. But he knows if you want him or not. He knows if you want to go to heaven or do you just want him to get you out of trouble. And you really don't want heaven. God knows. You see, there is some people that want all the riches from God. 
They want all the gifts. They see the glamour. They see people being blessed. They see all these things, but they don't want to live for God. They want to hate people. They want to walk around with envy, jealousy. And you know what? We can get delivered from those things. God is the deliverer, but they don't even want God to deliver them. They want to keep it. They think they think they justify to have that. But again, I tell you that heaven is a place for people that love God. And God says that if you love me, you will put away those things because God is righteous. He's holy. And to be righteous is to be is to be right with God. To be righteous is to be right with God. And to be right with God is to do what he says do. To be right with God is to do what he says do. To be right with God is to do what he says do. Do you love God? That's the question. Do you love God? That's a question you should ask, ask yourself. Are you willing to do what God says do? A lot of times we take for granted what God has given us, the gifts, the talents. When he's called us, he calls us because he loves us. He doesn't call us because we're qualified. We're not qualified. And, and really, be honest, he can choose anybody he wants to. He doesn't really have to choose us. He doesn't have to choose you or me. He could choose anybody he wants to. But are we willing to do what he asks us to do because we love him? He loves us, but do we love him? Because again, I tell you, heaven is a place for people that love God. It's not just for a place for people. I, I don't want to go to hell. I don't want to burn. I don't want to be in damnation forever. So that's why I, I gave my life to the Lord. And this is not something to go out and start telling people you're going to burn if you don't give your life to the Lord. This is not that kind of message. This is a message that God always has to give us to keep us on our toes, to keep us right with him. Because a lot of times we will begin to think, well, I'm not going to hell, but I can be disobedient to God. I can hate that person if I want to. I can be jealous of that person if I want to. I can envy that person if I want to. I can be mad if I see them getting a promotion. I can do some things behind their back. I can gossip if I want to. I can I can do all these things if I want to. I don't have to obey God if I don't want to. Again, I tell you that heaven is a place for people that love God. And to love God is to do what he says do. To obey him. To obey God. That means you love God. Again I say. Do you love God? God has sent me today with this message. To tell you. That heaven is a place for people that love God. It's not just a place for you to. Because you want to miss hell. You don't want to you don't want to go to hell so you're saying I want to go to heaven cuz I don't want to go to hell but you don't love God at all. You don't even some there's some people who don't even believe in God. They just basically gave their life to the Lord cuz they don't want to go to hell. I want to ask you today If you haven't made God the Lord of your life, God loves you unconditionally. He loves you unconditionally. And there's not anything that he wouldn't do for you. He, he, he gave his only begotten son on the cross to die for your sins. But a lot of times this world will have people thinking that God is the enemy. That God is bad. God is terrible. And he's not. What has the devil done for you? Nothing. He can't do nothing. He tries to duplicate it, but it always ends up bad. It always ends up jacked up. It always ends in death, whether physically, emotionally, spiritually. 
it ends in death. He tries to duplicate medicine. He tried to duplicate. And he ended up putting people on drugs, bad habits, where they killed themselves. Sex, he took sex and turned it into adultery and fornication. Food, he turned it into an addiction. He cannot absolutely do anything for you. God loves you unconditionally. And he wants to give you life and give it more abundantly. Everything that God gives you is beautiful. To give you everlasting life is the most beautiful thing ever. It's the most beautiful thing ever. To give you everlasting life. The devil can't give you that. He can take your life. Try to. He can try. Notice I said try. Because still God is in control. Today, if you would like to give your life to the Lord, to make God the Lord of your life, say this prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I know that I'm a sinner. Forgive me for my sins. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Cleanse me, mold me, and make me into what you want me to be. From this day forward, I want to serve you. Fill me with the Holy Spirit that I may serve you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You just accepted Christ as your Lord and Savior. Now, get to know God, who He is, what He has for you, the blessings of God, the promises of God, everything. And when I say blessings, I'm not just talking about things. See, people automatically gravitate toward things, but that's not just it. Yeah, you can be blessed on earth, but there's a lot of other things that God wants to give you. There's a lot of, so many things that God wants to do in your life. So many things. And again, I asked you, do you love God? And when the voice of the Lord tells you something, the Holy Spirit, obey him. Do what he says do. Whatever he's asking you to do today, do it. Seek the Heavenly Father for what it is that he wants you to do. Because heaven is a place for people that love God. It's not a place just for people to miss hell. I pray that this word helps you. God bless you. Be blessed.